look at the estrogen progesterone balance in cancer promotion. How is that, how is that related? Um, and that's part of, of this diagram here, uh, where estrogen start going off relative to um, progesterone. What we see, what we know in rate increase in breast cancer is that this, the, the breast cancer incidence stays very low through the premenopause, and then the perimenopause, it starts to increase. This woman that called me on the phone with breast cancer, she was 45 and 52. This is just exactly what I'm talking about. I looked at that woman's estrogen when she was 45, it was too high. Those of you who do saliva testing, you know, her estradiol was 4.5, and which is high, and her uh, progesterone was like 15. She had luteal insufficiency. And she's probably going to have, you know, lots and lots of cycles for many, many years where she's making too much estrogen and not enough progesterone. Her symptoms were clearly those of estrogen dominance. So she went on and on and on and, and um, didn't get the, the proper treatment for that. Um, and seven years later, <clears throat> went on to develop uh, breast cancer. If you look at Estradiol and progesterone production <clears throat> through a woman's lifetime at puberty, you have, as I said, these, the estradiol is the yellow line. You use spikes in production, and that's the problem you often see in teenage girls. Um, <clears throat> and then it, it pretty much, what we see in you know, the average premenopausal patient is they're pretty, pretty steady state level of estradiol. You know, and that's why they're not suffering from symptoms of, of um, estrogen deficiency or, um, so it's, it's fairly, fairly constant level of estradiol and progesterone's being produced at about 100 to 200 fold excess of, of uh, estradiol during the second half of the phase. So what happens in the first half of the menstrual cycle uh, is that you make estrogen, you make increasing levels of estrogen and you ovulate then you make progesterone for the second half. So really what's happening is, is, the, is the estrogen is stimulating the growth of bone and you know, brain and skin and doing all the right stuff. Uh, it, it gets the, the ovaries ready, so it ovulates and then produces an egg. Uh, and then progesterone comes along and it says, uh, okay, you've done all this stuff, you've allowed all, these, all this growth and proliferation, now you need to stop. Because uh, if you get, you know, if you're pregnant, then we'll make more of the progesterone and more of the estrogen together. But if we're finished with that cycle, then everything goes back to.